Uh, hey guys, welcome to another video. For today's video, uh, we are going to be looking at a number of different websites. Uh, online websites, online retailers, usually, in my opinion, it's, it's some of the good places to look at when you're buying uh, PC components. Um, in many of my builds, I mix uh, new and used components, um, some from Facebook Marketplace, uh, some new. Certain components tend to be better new, so things like SSDs. Uh, I prefer to buy new SSDs, um, sometimes fan kits, sometimes cases, and sometimes even CPUs. For instance, in the beginning of the year, I bought a Ryzen 3600 and it cost me uh, 3,200 Rand and I bought a brand new. And then shortly after that, Ryzen CPUs went through the roof and you were paying 3,600 Rand for a Ryzen 3600 CPU uh, on the second hand market. So, so for this video, we're gonna look at a few sites that I generally buy my stuff from, I purchased from them before, and they're really not bad. Their prices are pretty good. Uh, just to give you an idea so yeah for this video eight we're going to be looking at eight different sites first site is evtech uh, i will link all the sites in the description so if you want to have a look if you're looking for something specific just keep an eye out for these guys uh, some of them when you google it when you uh, google certain items uh, like graphics cards or something like that they don't always appear some of them do some of them don't so just keep an eye for some of the other ones um, because you can find better deals at certain places and so it's best to usually compare and have a look around okay so for the first one we're going to be looking at clearance sale from evtech i've purchased a few things on their clearance sale so in terms of uh, budget buys um, something like an ssd they've got something like this for 699 rand for a 512 gig ssd now it's not a lot of space um, you'll probably only including the operating system and whatever other software you need you want to run like monitoring software anything like that um, you'd probably only be able to fit two to three games on it but as a start off it's a pretty good price for 512 uh, you don't need to do this uh, you can always go for uh, something like a 240 gig ssd it doesn't necessarily have to be an m.2 this is obviously an m.2 your motherboard needs to support it uh, obviously with the pins fits onto the motherboard and then you can go for something like this uh, i would probably nowadays if you are looking to get an ssd you can run your operating system off 120 gigs and quite a bit more at the moment i've got a system running on a 64 gig ssd so yeah it does work but i'd look at maybe pushing it try and getting something a bit bigger uh, what you can also do is you can buy this in the meantime so you can buy it for now and then at a later stage you can actually upgrade and then use this to load one of your games onto and then use it as a game drive single game drive simple as that at a later stage when you've got the cash to upgrade so yeah uh, ssds very good price evtech the clearance stuff has been pretty good has been pretty good so keep an eye out for that in terms of one of the other things that's always good to look at graphics let's have a look at graphics cards 3900 yeah the, the specials on graphics card hasn't been that great if we look for a the moment they've got nothing really i mean the, the prices aren't bad but i mean you can find these cheap elsewhere okay yeah so keep an eye out for the clearance for some reason these things are very very cheap upgrade kits for clearance um, you can buy yourself a kit just bear in mind that this is an 8 gig kit so you'd have to buy to get adequate performance out of it in higher end games like warzone that type of thing 16 gigs is the way to go but i mean for 5000 rand you got yourself an upgrade kit many of my previous builds came from up upgrade kits so it's not too bad yeah just bear in mind that this is a 3600 nowadays you can buy a 4500 for cheap one of the nice things about this clearance sale is pc cases if i can eh, pc cases pc cases um, and a pretty good deal at the moment would be something like this thousand rand pc case also includes uh, a 120 mil fan which seems to be rgb and two Obviously, this is a problem because if the fans fail, you can't replace them. But I think they might have. Let's have a look if they've got. Give us a picture of the inside. And they don't. I wanted to see if it's got brackets for smaller fans on the inside. 
Uh, Antex, not bad cases. They're not the greatest, uh, but for the price and for the fact that you get two massive fans in it, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, all you would have to do is populate the fans on the top and you're pretty much good to go. The only problem is, again, with this type of thing, if the fans go, you're not going to be able to replace those fans. But for the price of it, including fans, that's a very good deal. Usually, case plus fans, if you buy new, case plus fans will set you back minimum 1500 so this is a pretty good deal but keep an eye out for the clearances i mean i've bought plenty of stuff in the clearances in terms of cases um ssds i've bought ssds on the clearance in terms of cases uh, i've got one of these at the moment i actually got it um second hand so yeah i don't think this is worth 700 bucks i think there are other ones that might be better suited that's not bad although I prefer the white one. They had the white one on special a little while back and it was cheaper than this. This is pretty good. So keep an eye out for these things. Some of the ones where if you need to cut down on costs and you don't need to buy fans, then have a look at some of these. Obviously this, these do come with fans, but they're only one fan in the back, which is fine for budget builds, to be quite honest with you. But like these ones, uh, once you put fans in it, where does it pull its air from? So just bear that in mind. It has, usually they are open on top. I think this one that I've got is open on top, so you can pull cool air in from the top as well, which is good, better than, than nothing. But yeah, just bear that in mind. Um, for our next uh, online store, Wootwear. Wootwear is an awesome place to buy from, based down in Cape Town. Uh, I've purchased plenty from them before. Um, and I mean, they sell everything. Uh, hardware components, let's have a look at graphics cards, uh, anything to do with graphics cards. We're also looking for RAM, their RAM kits are pretty cheap, so if we have a look at memory, so one of the ones that I buy fairly often, it's a bog standard RAM kit, but I mean it's a 3000 megahertz kit, so something like that you buy for a thousand rand, just remember that it's excluding delivery, so you'd have to add delivery on top. So usually when I'm comparing this to second hand market, if I don't find a 16 gig kit, um, then I usually just buy that. Obviously it does push up the price. Every 100 Rand, 200 Rand on a component will push up the price of your build. So the cheaper that you can get the components from, the cheaper. You can save a thousand Rand if you saved 100 Rand on each component quite quite easily. So keep an eye for these guys. They are also, they've, they've got some cracking deals. Let's have a look what's on sale. In terms of sales, yeah, at the moment I'm just busy shopping for some stuff for my, for my next build. Uh, memory, graphics cards. Graphics cards I usually go second hand. No, see I'd rather go for the 6500. 6500 runs like a R uh, RX 580. So probably a better deal. Fans, no I wouldn't go for it so much. Uh, one thing that is quite cheap here, if needed, is case fans, we is just go into hot. Uh, which is a pretty good price if if you need a obviously uh, Depending on where you're based. It's a hundred rand hundred and something rand uh, for delivery, but if you need a CPU cooler What if it runs for the new Intel stuff? It's got the brackets for the new Intel stuff, but this is a very good uh, CPU cooler and Pretty well priced 600, 600 bucks See so the the fins are thicker on these on these what's names and brackets let's just see if they got the brackets for the doesn't even say okay but yeah so keep an eye out for Wootwear Wootwear's pricing is absolutely amazing let's have a look at something else motherboards and you can find a lot of your stuff you have popularity let's go price TPM modules so yeah uh, a lot of times I'll pick uh, Ryzen uh, CPUs, Ryzen systems over Intel, and the only reason being is because sometimes the motherboards are cheap. Like this, you can buy a new one on the second hand market for 750 Rand. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you save th almost 300 bucks on this thing. I'll have one coming in this week, so keep an eye out for the next videos because I'm going to be testing one of those with a new CPU, which is the so we're going to be looking at the Ryzen 5 4500. This one here, I've actually purchased one now. I've got one coming in this week. So yeah, very, very interesting CPU this. 
they're selling it for, you can find the CPU for under 2,000 Rand. Under 2,000 Rand with that same exact same motherboard, something like that. We're going to be testing those ones together, make sure that those ones work. Uh, should be quite an interesting fit. Obviously, it becomes a bit of a strange one because they're selling this the same price as they're selling those. So you might as well just up it to that. But if you get it for cheaper, save 300 Rand on a motherboard and on the CPU, you save, right. so we're already saving 500 Rand just on this stuff. And the motherboard's brand new and the CPU's brand new. So keep an eye for that. Obviously, for RAM, I'll probably end up going for uh, their RAM kit. Their RAM kit, depending on what I can find, I'll have a look for some other RAM kits, see if I can find something from there. Okay, for our next website, we're going to be looking at Gear Here. Gear Here is the one to look out for. Pretty decent. One of the one of the things that I buy from them a lot, which is quite an interesting one, is power supplies. Gear Here 550 watt. Um, and then just check the cables on those these things to make sure they've got the cable outs that you need as per required. Yeah, so let's have a look at their specials. Uh, specials at the moment, nothing too too crazy. I did look through them earlier. Um, they've got very excellent service, some of the best service that, that, that you get. Um, pricing, single stick, no. See, I always look for the budget stuff. Um, budget stuff usually suits me down to the ground. What happens if we go, let's just change it from low to high. Um, all of these obviously will be down in the description. All of the links for this for the, for the stuff will be down in the descriptions. But some of these places won't, let's go specials. Some of these places won't actually pop up when you're searching on Google for a specific component, power supply. Usually the best is to search these places as well. Uh, a lot of times Google comes up with some funny places and everything's overseas. So keep an eye for them. Uh, for the next one, we're looking at N Amptech. Amptech was with these same power supplies. So, there we go. This is Amptech. With a whole bunch of specialists taking your experience. Where to boost your gaming uh, FPS. Oh, make it. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay, so this is Amptech. Um, I have purchased from them before. Um, quite an interesting little one. GPUs, anything particular that we're looking for? No, it looks like they've only got, got discounts and everything, but everything's still very high end. 12,000 for a 6700 XT. 6700 XT, not a bad graphics card. The problem is they launched it to take on the 3070 and it doesn't. It actually performs like a 3060. I think closer to a 3060 Ti. So yeah, just bear that in mind when you're looking at Radeon versus, but I mean, that's a good price when you're comparing it to a 3060. Although I think a 3060 Ti is just under that. I think they were 11 last time I looked. Oh, we can actually check. Yeah. Oh no. That is not the RTX. So yeah, usually it's best just to check all of these places and see what you can find. Yeah, there we go. 3060 Ti under 10 grand popularity. Let's go price. Uh, Paleo cards, awesome cards to use. You're not going to find them. I don't really know what recertified is. I'm not entirely sure what it means by recertified. But uh, 200 and more, and you get yourself a 3060 Ti. Yeah, 200 and more, and you get that. Or you can go for the Paleo, the Galaxy versus Paleo. The palette card. Is, the, is it the palette card that I liked so much? No, there was another one that I actually liked even more than the palette card. So yeah, keep an eye out for these guys. I mean, a lot of them are cheaper, so you might as well go for a TI if you're going for that performance. Uh, Radeon cards have got higher performance. The performance is better, the power consumption is higher, uh, but the features of DLSS and that, man, stomps on them at the moment, still. Uh, yeah, so Amtech, keep an eye out for them. Uh, I do search CPUs and across the board to see what I can find. Let's have a look at upgrade kits. The upgrade kits are expensive at the moment. I was looking at specials. Where are the specials gone? Let's see, so same price as a, a 6900 XD, same price as a once in a sure, one time. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Amtech. Uh, the other one is Titan Ice. Titan Ice I buy from quite a bit. 350 watt. Um, what did I buy from them last? The last thing that I bought from them, I think, was my mouse. 
components, app brackets, and bundles. Let's have a look what they got here. Configurable. So they don't give you a price, they just say you can configure what you want. I want low, low to high. Huh, okay. Let's find a budget motherboard. Let's go that one. So, yeah, 10th gen. See, I'd rather go 11th gen. 10th gen falls behind slightly. CPU. Oh, you can actually say what CPU you want. Yeah, okay. And this is only 8 gigs of RAM as far as I'm aware. So yeah, keep an eye for them. There are things that I that I tend to buy from them, peripherals and stuff. I did buy a mouse from them, which I found was the cheapest anywhere else. Uh, service is pretty good. Happy with their service. Okay, for the next one, we're looking at uh, PC International. So PC International, um, local to Johannesburg. Uh, if you're in Johannesburg and you're buying from them, they do free delivery. So for instance, I was looking at okay so let's have a look I'm, I'm looking for one of these boards uh h16 the h16 motherboards are for intel 12th gen intel 12th gen um the nice thing about pc international is they offer free delivery for main sensors so keep an eye out for that um yeah pretty decent this is Pretty much the standard price you're looking at about 1.6 for this motherboard uh, if you're looking at amd obviously you, you can get motherboards for cheaper for amd that's why in some cases uh, amd is a bit of a better choice but at the moment um testing and with the new gpu uh, the rx 6500 uh, i'm looking at for pci gen 4 so this is the type of thing that we need for pci gen 4 just want to see if they do 32 what's in ram one pci near yeah, gen 4 that's the one that we're looking for so i'll be getting picking up one of these at some point the other, next place to look at is uh, sector 36 sector 36 is an interesting one so now recently about two months ago they were selling gpus at cost price obviously that was before gpus actually started coming down um, as much as what they have now but it was very very good deals so uh, if you can uh, follow them on Facebook they will pop up these specials the specials are pretty decent um, but yeah sort after this is what is it power supplies power supplies so so power on, on power supplies um, a little bit more higher end stuff but keep an eye for them sector 36 um, and yeah and then also keep an eye out for uh, take a lot. Uh, take a lot. The nice thing about take a lot is it's free delivery. Um, a lot of times in my builds, I tend to mix the builds, mix new versus used. So that tends to help a lot. Um, the higher end components like the CPU uh, and uh, GPU, I usually buy uh, second hand. Um, CPU with motherboard and that type of thing. Um, and then the smaller stuff, I end up spending about my budget for case and all the other stuff is usually about 2,000 Rand case, fans, uh, power supply is about 2,000 Rand. So yeah, with all of these different places you can find what you're looking for. And always compare new to used, Facebook marketplace versus new price and find what suits you. Uh, obviously with the new stuff you, it comes with warranties, so if you're running into any problems you can send it back and I haven't had issues with any, with any of these. Um, if you know of any others is that you buy from mention them down in the description we can have a look at them there are others that i have purchased from but i've had the most uh luck with the, with these guys that i've mentioned uh, i'm always buying from from all over the place and the cheaper i can get it for the better obviously because you're building a gaming pc so if you can keep the costs down then it helps a lot if you can buy piece by piece it also helps a lot so yeah, thanks very much for watching and stay tuned for the next videos where the stuff that I've got at the moment, I'm going to be testing and building and, and yeah, have a good one and we will catch you guys again.